guys welcome back to football corner it's a galamina again so as you can see it has been a perfect weekend of football for me okay, almost perfect uh yesterday Tottenham played southampton and they drew 2-2 Tottenham thought they were going to win the game it, it, it was it two, was it three was it three three or two two okay i can't forget it but i remember no 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 it was it was three three I remember, um, like the the best part that made me happy was uh, the fact that um, Walcott scored against Tottenham as usual, and also um, Martin and Niles uh, forced a penalty. So yeah, our boys taking points mm -hmm. from our rivals. Yeah. So also Chelsea. Chelsea drew with Everton. Everyone was like, oh, Chelsea are going to bury Everton. Hmm. Bury who? Are you mad? Are you mad? Um, right now, before I go into our game, uh, I've just watched the first half, the first few, the, like the first few five minutes of Manchester United versus uh, Fulham, the FA Cup game. Manchester is rolling 1-0. So yeah. I just hope by the time I'm done with this video and go back over there, it will still be the same or Fulham have added more, okay? We cannot have this nonsense of, we're, st we're still in three cups. We're still in in, in run for Champions League, um, Europa League, for FA, and then don't write us off about uh, Premier League. We might we might have a comeback and win our remaining games. Mathematically, Unless we lose all the games and Man City loses all their games, then it's impossible. It is okay, it's possible, but it's, it is impossible also. Okay, so let's get into our game. Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. People, don't forget, like, Crystal Palace is one of the teams, these small, small teams, these mid-table teams that always take some points from us every single season. Like this... It's one of those teams that always get me nervous, to be honest with you. They always get some points from us. I think last season we took, I think, maybe one point from them. They they beat us one game and then we drew the other. Like, for whatever reason, it's normally so hard for us to get six points from them. But this time, we've, uh, we've managed to take six points from them home and away. Yeah, perfect. It's just perfect. And also, the, um, I think this is this is the first time or we've won nine London derbies. It's nine years, nine London derbies in one season. And remember, this season is not over yet. We've not played Chelsea yet. Like, we've played them one. Like, we're not done with them. I hope, like, we're going to Old Trafford, which means if we go and win over there, then uh, it means it'll be 10. And also, I think there are some other London Davids remaining. Yeah, history. We'll just add on the history. Yeah, um, so I think for, for me, there's a, there are a lot of reasons that we are supposed to, we should be winning this season. Uh, we have only 10 games to go. We are at 69 points. Um, Man City at, at 61. We are like eight points ahead, but uh, Man City have a game in hand. Uh, Manchester, uh, we've played through. Well, Manchester even in this. Why is Manchester United even in this conversation? So, if you look at the goal difference, we ha Man City have 42. We have 40. Although we we've played a game more than them. Like if you look at number three, they have a goal difference of six. Which, which goes to show you that we are like we are in the race confidently like at this point in this point and like where we are at this stage i am very confident and i am like i'm very hopeful unless everything goes south okay we have played more than three quarter of the season there's no 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 reason for us uh, to bottle this at this point because if you look at the way we've played since we lost to Manchester Manchester City, we've won six games, six games in a row, three away and three at home. 
okay you can say if oh you've played all of them uh, most of them at home we played 3-3 so we've won the six games since we lost to Manchester, Manchester City which goes to show you uh, our response and the way we've played the way the mindset everything is correct like the, the Arsenal or before at this point we like uh, they are losing hope no one is uh, like we're not fighting until the end right now we are playing every single game we're playing like we like it's a final and as fans are celebrating our wins every single win like it's a final because we deserve it I don't remember the last time we had this many wins like it's been a while people it's been a while let us celebrate some of us have suffered we have suffered why don't you we've not we've won nothing this is all so far like we've won nothing let us have the the wins let's have let us celebrate we are living in the moment we're enjoying it in the moment let us have it i don't know why everyone is mad because us and are celebrating too much like leave us alone seriously you need to leave us alone also, um, if you look at the way everything is between Arsenal and Man City, you look like we are in the race with them in every single area, in all fronts. Because uh, in terms of the goal difference, we are head to head. In terms of clean sheet, in terms of points, in terms of uh, goals that have been scored, the goals that have like everything, we are with them like at par. If we are not as good as, good as, as them, then we are better than them this season because we are ahead of them. Like, there's nowhere they blessed, left us na we, we leave, uh, leave, leave them with a big gap in some areas, like a small gap in areas, and then they leave, they leave us in small gap in other areas. Like, we, we, are just, we are just as good as them or better than them. Simple. It's as simple as that. We, de we deserve to win. As much as Manchester City deserves to win this season. Yeah, and I am very happy. And today's game, uh, my only my only worry was uh, Rob Holding. And I think it was the only difference um, in terms of the lineup from the last games to today. I'm not talking about Europa League, baby. I'm talking about Premier League. And the story of Europa League, it's done. We are out of that. We are not talking about that anymore. We are focusing on the Champions League. We are not doing the uh, the, the Thursday and Friday nights football anymore. We are, it's past. That is in the past. Can you stop reminding us of the past? So, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> um, uh, our game, in terms of our game today, my only worry was um, Rob Holding because he stepped in for Saliba. In that area, Saliba and Tomiyasu are normally like uh changing in terms of one is injured like there's just a connotation of the back four for us normally but uh tomiyasu and saliba are both injured in the same game so rob holding had to come in yeah he had to come in today and he delivered i was very worried there's a way rob holding gets emotional him and uh, and gabriel gabriel also plays emotion like with emotions this they just he gets carried away that's what i mean by emotions he just gets carried away uh gives his uh, nani he gives hey gives mm, them days but whatever you are good luck so i'm talking about rob holding he also gets even today yes he played well but there were a, a lot of areas that um a lot of times that he was why is he holding people from the back there's a way he just uh, i'm like rob just come down please Please, you are, you are playing up high, like you are far up high. Why, why are you? <sighs> also, something else that worried me. If man, if um, Crystal Palace were the team that can uh, go uh, counter attack, they were not really doing counter attack game. If it was counter attack, Leo Tunge Shikwa Maramingi because. Gabriel and Holding were playing up high, like Wako in the in the, in the other box. Na see atini nukasabukuna set pieces. No, there are not any set pieces. They are playing up high, and it is just past like the build up to to a goal or anything. They are very. Well, who was our last man today? Who was our last man? Like I don't remember who was that. Like everyone was going up high, very. We're playing up up the field you know what i'm saying so how uh, we played really well Saka, of course he stood out he 
he scored his two goals he's one he's what is uh he's the only player this season he's the first player this season who have the doubles for the double figures for assist and goals he has more than 10 in both assist and uh goals okay hmm our star boy is shining also like everyone had a very good game uh oh my goodness oh my goodness martinelli you see every time i say martinelli play that guy has a very bright future my people he has a very bright future and then he i, I think he's not one of those players that let football and fame get to the head he's very focused on whatever he's doing that kid is just perfect he is special we have two special kids in that squad my we have two special kids in that squad and i'm really happy about that to sad and then um when uh, nani was taken off i was like hey why is he taken off this early zinchenko and when uh, tiani came on i was a bit i was a bit like mm, mm, like i wasn't sure but hey he really stood up he got his assist um my my player like my man of the match in this game yeah maybe he hasn't scored he didn't score any goal but ben white was he he played so well what and then his his connection with they have this like the the communication between between him and saka and odegaard like it's just perfect oh my god like the way the overlaps the way they do the overlaps like it's just perfect and then in the middle we have the the combination between jaka um party and zinchenko like it's just perfect the way our our like wingers akina this saka and martinelli they really help when it comes to the defense they do the defensive work perfectly like we are playing as a team in every single area we are playing up front as a team we are defending at the back as a team like there's no one left at the back there's no one left at in front like that is your job you should do your job like we are playing as a team and all our four goals every single goal was perfection like it was there was a build up to it and then someone scored there was a build up like you just cross in and then someone gets their head on, on it mm, uh, maybe or maybe not like it wasn't like that it was just perfection so i'm happy my son is, is crying so i'll just end the video here thank you so much for for watching the video subscribe like and comment uh see you in the next in the next video bye